This is Brad with Campbell Security Screens, and in this video we're going to show you how to measure for and install Campbell Security Screens for Windows. Windows are a little bit different in some of the considerations you have to have for Windows, and we're going to go over some of those options for this particular window. And this window manufacturer is probably one of the most difficult ones that uh, you can mount security screens onto, but there's ways of doing it, and we're going to go through that whole process today and show you exactly how to measure for and install the screens on this particular opening. A uh, key component to measuring for openings like this is you have to have the proper sale samples with you at the time of the measure. We've pulled out, uh, this happens to be what we call the quick escape frame, which is one of the applications and what we'll probably end up putting on this particular window. And then we have actually another frame also that might work in a window application uh, that's using this, we call this a fence panel slash window frame and we'll go over this option here in just a minute. But one of the things that we need to use out of this display case uh, is the different, what we call aluminum tubing, or box frame as it's sometimes called. And we use these for measurement purposes and they are used primarily for like a build out and around a window. So what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna show you how these come into play with this particular window. Okay, now we're ready to take the existing uh, insect screen off. And we've removed that screen, so now you can really start to see what's involved with installing and attaching the security screens on this particular window frame. Now I'm going to go one step further here. Uh, I'm going to go on the inside and I'm going to open up this panel and then we can do a little bit of a close-up of the things you have to be concerned about for your attachment of your screens. And this will all start to make sense here in just a second. Okay, now we're going to go over some of the particulars with this particular window manufacturer. This happens to be from a company called International Window. And it's an aluminum frame. And there's quite a few of these in the Southern California area in particular. But I wanted to go over some of the things that you have to be concerned about when, it, when we're talking about attaching security screens to the opening. Because our security screens are all about how secure we can get it to the structure itself so they cannot be removed. And I've opened up the glass panel here just a little bit so you can see this relationship of where your attachment screws would go trying to fasten onto this particular frame. And as you can see here on the side, there's nothing to attach anything to here. If you were to attach screws into this flange here is fine, but you can't go too far because the actual sliding window is sliding in the channel so obviously you can't put any screws in there. You have the same problem when you come over on the other side on the stationary side. The glass panels all the way down into this aluminum piece so you have no room to attach any screws on the bottom here plus you still have to be concerned about you know running into that sliding track uh, for the glass panel. So then as you come over to the stationary side of the glass panel you know, you're looking at a very fine line here of where you'd be able to run screws into the aluminum frame. And so we do the same thing at the top. I mean, there's limited areas to mount the screen. So one of the options is you can mount onto the stucco surface itself and anchor it to the wall. So that's one option, and we'll talk about that in a minute. But there's another option here that uh, you can relay to the homeowner. This particular room is converted into an office, but it's classified a bedroom. So it's all about egress. And you know where you have a bedroom situation, there's actually codes, and you want to be checking with your local codes for your city and county and get their recommendations on what you can install here. Because you can't put a fixed screen on here, fasten it onto the window opening if there's no way to get out in case of emergency. So that's always paramount. We talk about the quick escape, which is a surface mount system, and we could actually you know, build this out if we had to, or I'm gonna show you how we're gonna do this particular install using the quick escape. Okay, here's just something that I wanna bring up as a valuable point and you know, something that probably will not work on this particular window uh, application and this particular window manufacturer's frame. We actually built this frame just for training purposes, just to illustrate what you have to be aware of when you make a window. If we were to put this kind of window frame in this opening so it fits into 
what we would call the daylight opening. It looks great. There's no problem with the way it looks, but it's all about the attachment. This is almost virtually impossible to secure into this particular window manufacturer's frame because there's no attachment that you can make that doesn't interfere either with the sliding glass panel or there's no frame to screw anything to on the side or the top. So this is just a classic example of what would not work in this particular opening. If the homeowner decided they preferred just to cover this one side, either through cost or looks or whatever, you know, this is an option we talked about earlier, and we made this screen to go into this particular opening, and this replaces the existing insect screen. We're going to measure this just like we would any typical opening that we're dealing with. We're going to measure the width in three places, the height in three places, because windows are just like doors. There's really no such thing as a square uh, opening. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure from the outside edge of this aluminum frame to the other outside edge of the aluminum frame. And I'm going to start here at the bottom on the width. And with the Accu rule, I can lock this in place because we always want to know what's the shortest distance across an opening. In this case, I think we're going to have just the opposite. You can see I'm mean, even with this side here, but I actually have this, this bowing of this frame, and I'm going to go to the outside of that frame, so I need to get to the outside edge of that frame. So I know that that's my widest point on this particular application by quite a bit. So by using this measurement here in the middle, that's going to be the measurement that I'm going to add three quarters of an inch on the right hand side and I'm going to add a three quarters of an inch on the left hand side and my measurement is right here on the acro rule so it's 59 inches so I'm actually going to add an inch and a half to that measurement and you want to record that on your forms <clears throat> and you just want to make sure that you document it because when you second guess yourself later you want to make sure that it's right by writing it down at the time. Okay so now we're going to do the same thing on the height. We're going to measure this in three places and I know where I want to end up on my frame here uh, from the bottom. So on this one I'm going to go to the bottom of this part of the frame and I'm going to go up to the top And I'm going to do that in three places on this opening. And this is actually pretty good. And I'm going to do the same thing on this. I'm only going to go three quarters of an inch up on the top because I don't want to go any further than this bottom point. So I'm only going to add three quarters of an inch at the top. And the reason I'm adding only three quarters of an inch at the top, because this is a side hung on the right hand side, I don't want to interfere with the release bar that's on the inside of the house. So I can't go too far up because the release bar on the inside of the home is going to be real close to interfering with the window frame itself. So I can't go too far and that goes back to our one inch rule of thumb is you don't want to go beyond uh, an inch over the daylight opening area on your window. So now I'll record that particular measurement for the height on the form. And that's really about all we need to do on this as far as measuring. Uh, but I want to go over a couple other things that you just want to be uh, consider for your installer or your install when you come back out. OK, we've measured our window for the quick escape that we're going to build for this window. But you know. Anytime you have a measurement going on, you also want to be looking at how the screen's going to be installed. So you got to be thinking about your installer, whether that be somebody else or yourself, when you come back out on the job to make sure you have all your uh, material when you come out. And one of the things that we're going to do is we're actually going to mount our fire quick escape here on top of this frame. But the manufacturers put in these pan head screws that are actually going to interfere with this mounting onto the surface. So one of the things that we're going to make a notation on our order form is that 
we need to make sure that we put some flathead screws or you could pop rivet this on if you wanted to get more of a flush surface so that when the installer comes out, we're not binding that frame because it's going over this high point on the frame. So you always want to be thinking about your installer and keeping that install time down to a minimum. This particular install time on this with our quick escape that we're going to install on here is probably going to be uh, 20 to 25 minutes is all on that. So you just want to kind of keep that in mind. Doing windows are, are very straightforward from an installation point of view, but you just have to uh, figure out, you know, what is the opening, how you're going to apply the quick escape onto the structure, whether it be the stucco or onto the frame of the window. So uh, the next step is we'll, we're going to place our order for the quick escape that we're going to put on this window. Okay, now we're ready to install our fire escape. And we've set up a little bit of a staging area. It isn't absolutely necessary, but it works well for training purposes here. Uh, by setting this up like this, it gives us an idea of where we actually want to put it onto the opening. So right now what we're doing, we have this adjusted where I think we want to put the screen onto the structure. But I want to do what's called just a test fit or a dry fit just to make sure. And with the help of Luis, we're going to move this to where I took my measurements when we came out originally to measure and I decided that there was a bow in the window frame on this side and one on this side right in the middle and I added three quarters of an inch to the left side and to the right side and I added three quarters of an inch to the top part and that left me room for the release bar to be released from the inside of the house. So you always want to do this fit first to make sure everything is going to mount where we think it's going to mount. And we notice the gap here, which we've dealt with when we were out on the measure, that we're going to fill that in with some screen frame rather than you know, use a lot of caulking for that. And so it looks good. So now what we're going to do, we're going to take the quick escape off of the opening, and I'm going to apply the quarter inch screen frame on the back side of the quick escape and I'm just going to use some double stick tape just to hold it on and then I'm going to drill the holes that we're going to actually mount this to the house and I'm going to mount it on the left side the right side and the top because there's no where on this frame can I attach screws to get back into the structure on the bottom and by fastening it on the sides and the top, we're, we're plenty good. You will not be able to remove this frame from the house. So the next step is we'll take this off, apply our screen frame, drill our holes, and then we're ready to mount it. One of the things that I wanted to point out with the quick escape, as long as we have it right here, this is the release bar for the screen. And as you can see, this release bar actually extends beyond where the mounting surface is of the quick escape frame. So sometimes this may interfere with your opening. So you want to make sure you're aware that there's like an inch and three quarters of an inch from where the release bar distance is from the outside of the frame because you don't want it to interfere with the window frame from the inside of the house. The other thing is if you were mounting this in such a way that you were concerned about that it's getting close to a flush uh, install that because it extends out you may have to shim out or build out using the aluminum tubing to move this release bar away from the opening. So those are just some considerations and these are the considerations you you need to know when you go out to measure. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go uh, and install the three-quarter screen frame on the this back side of the frame and then we're going to drill our mounting holes. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and just put some double stick tape on the back side of the screen frame just to hold it in place. And I'm going to do this like in three spots across this uh, just to hold it until we can drill our holes. Okay, so now I'm ready to drill holes through the frame of the quick escape and the screen frame. And there again, the screen frame is just nothing more than a filler. It has no structure to it as far as the attachment to uh, the house. So generally what we do is we will put a hole here at the top, 
do the same thing at the bottom. We don't go so far as to interfere with there's actually corners that actually hold this frame together. So you don't want to go too far to the corner because you'll end up running into the material that's holding this frame together. So typically what we would do is we'll put screw hole at the top, bottom, we'll put one in the middle, then we'll put another and we'll cut that in half again and then cut that in half again. We do this on the sides and the top. So my very first hole is going to be right here in this location. It's about three inches down from uh, the top. And it's not really critical, you know, where the hole actually is, just as long as you have enough attachment on here for the frame. And there's actually what's called a starter groove in the channel here. And when we use our screws and our screw cap cover goes over that, it'll conceal all our attachment screws. So I'll just start here at the top with this one. Okay, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna remove these uh, pan head screws that are in the frame because we're gonna mount our quick escape right on top of the surface and I don't want the frame rocking against it. So what I'm gonna do with this is I'm gonna remove these screws uh, and there's one at the top also. And then I'm gonna countersink this, put a stainless steel flathead screw in here and do the same thing at the top. And that just gives us a nice surface for that frame to go up against so we don't fight that thing going over that head of the screw. Okay, we've drilled our mounting holes, so we're gonna place this back on the opening. We placed our screws that are flathead screws where the mullion was tied to the window there. So we'll make sure we got our marks correct. And one of the things we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure that we're still level and plumb. And it looks like we're just right on. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna fasten it onto the opening. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna fasten one side just to hold this in place. Okay, now we're ready to install this frame onto the structure. And uh, one of the things I wanna cover first before we go any further is that th these are uh, an installer's friend here. We stock these, they're called trim head screws. It's specially designed to go through a lot of different substances. They have a hardened point. It has like an auger bit here at the end. And the only thing that keeps this screw from going all the way through something is when you let off the trigger. These screws are just awesome. Uh, they come in a two, a three, and a five inch long screw. And a lot of times we use these long screws because we'll go in and we'll go in on a very aggressive angle from our screw cap cover area. So we can actually go in and we'll get into the studs that are in the wall and because it's on an angle, it takes a very long screw in order to do that. This particular job, we can use the three inch screws, uh, although we could probably get away with the two inch, but the two inch you have to allow for at least an inch and a quarter worth of stucco. So I wanna make sure that we're beyond the stucco and we don't have any problems. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna fasten the frame to the house. I've drilled my holes through a, what we call a through hole through the frame and uh, we'll probably end up having to drill a masonry hole into the stucco in order for the screws to start. Sometimes the screws will go through, sometimes they won't, but it's easier just to make a pilot hole through uh, the stucco. So I'm gonna go ahead and drill. As you can see, I didn't drive that home. I just snugged it up because What'll happen across this opening, if you start drawing this too tight, the frame will actually tweak a little bit and it's very difficult then to get the release bar to work properly. So we wanna keep this frame fairly flat against the surface and not cause any binding. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tack the other side in and then we're gonna test the screen to make sure we're still okay with the release bar working properly. Okay, so now we're ready to move our temporary ledger here that held the screen up. We're all fastened in place. And so the next thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna make sure everything still works properly. We're gonna open it up and try it and test it. And uh, then the last thing we'll do is we'll install our screw cap covers on. And with the screw cap covers, we always start at the bottom because it's easier to make adjustments with the screw cap covers on the sides and the top. And I'll show you that in just a second. Okay, so now we're gonna test and make sure the quick release bar opens properly, which it does, works very nice. 
and then we'll make sure we can close it just fine. And it closes great. Looks great from the inside. No problems on the inside. So now we're ready to install our screw cap covers and we're gonna install the bottom one on first because it's a lot easier to make adjustments because if the miters don't line up exactly right with your side pieces that it is a lot easier to adjust the sides than the bottom part. And this screw cap cover goes in, locks into the frame and then the striking point is right on the corner. And so what you do is you just lock this right on down the line. So that's what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go right on down the line here and fasten the cover on. Okay, so I've installed the bottom screw cap cover and I got the miter all lined up and now I'm going to put the side on. And then once again, we're just going to rock the cover in towards the screen and we line up the miters. And then the point of contact is right here in the corner, not on the face, but on the corner. And you just start it and you just walk it. So theoretically, when we get done, we should have a real nice tight miter. So now I'll go ahead and I'll finish putting the top and the side on. Okay, we've finished our project here. We put on the last of the screw cap covers. Everything works properly. And the only thing we have left to do is we're gonna clean our frame, get all our fingerprints off of it. We're gonna vacuum and this job is complete. Thank you for watching this Campbell Security Screens measure and installation tutorial for our Quick Escape security screen. For more information, visit CampbellSecurityScreens.com.